Between having lived in seven states myself and helping over a dozen families move to Arkansas over the last year, there are really three important things that you need to know about buying a house in Arkansas that may be different than where you are coming from. So let's get right into it. The first thing is Arkansas has termites. We are a hot, humid states and termites are very, very prevalent. They can obviously cause a lot of damage to your house, to decks, to anything that is wood and is in contact with the ground. What we do in Arkansas is whenever you are buying a house, you will, in your contract, most likely ask for a termite clearance letter. So a pest control company will go out, they will inspect the house for termites, and they will either let you know it's 100% clear, no termites, they may say that there's previous damage that has been treated, but no like active termites, or if they find any active termites, they'll address it and let you know what needs to be done to get them out of there. This termite clearance letter is typically paid for by the seller, and regardless of whether they find any termites, they will pre-treat the house so that it's a good preventative done to prevent any termites from moving in for one year. The main thing that's really important is you wanna protect your investment. and. Every year, you're going to want to renew your termite policy. Now, you don't have to stick with the same company, but you don't wanna have any lapses in coverage because if you do get termites while you have an active policy on your house, you, you can call the termite company and they will be able to come out, treat it, because you shouldn't be getting termites as long as you have an active policy on your house. It can be very costly if you let that coverage lapse and then you find damage later on. I'm gonna include a picture of some termite damage that Kachi and I found on the house that we renovated. We bought it for a really good deal and we bought it as an investment property without getting a termite clearance letter. We thought that there was probably some damage, but just so you can get a visual of how these little nasty bugs can get into your house, I wanted to share that with you guys. The second thing to know is Hail damage is common, not necessarily so much to vehicles. We don't get like giant, giant hail um, to where you see people's like windshields busted in or, or dents on their cars very often, but it is prevalent enough to where we see a lot of hail damage on roofs. I bring this up because if you are buying a house in Arkansas and it's a resale house, which means it's not new construction, you may see some evidence of hail damage in your inspection report. And know that this is not something that's rare. It's very, very common to see here. Depending on what the home inspector says, you may want to get an additional roofer to come out and give you their opinion on the damage as well to see if this is something that needs to be kind of resolved right now and is at a level to where it's causing, you know, could cause leaks or is weakening the integrity of the roof. But in most cases, seeing some hail damage is normal and okay. If there is a good amount of damage to the roof and the roof is older, while you are under contract, it may be worth having the seller reach out to their insurance company to see if they can file a claim and get the roof replaced prior to you moving in. This is another common practice. If the seller's insurance company will go for it, then you get the peace of mind of moving into the house with a brand new roof, which is also going to lower your insurance premiums. So moral of the story is don't be spooked if you see hail damage. We get it with rain. We get it with thunderstorms. It's not something, like I said, don't, don't be scared of it. It just kind of comes with the territory and because hail can come straight down on your roof, you will start to see like some granule loss over time. The last thing that I think is really important for you guys to know if you are buying a house in Arkansas and potentially moving here from another market, whether it be in Arkansas or not, is that right now, like most of the country, we are experiencing higher rates of appreciation than normal. I bring this up because I want you to understand that if you were to call me up and say, Nicole, I'm moving from California, I'm moving from Colorado, wherever you might be coming from, I'm gonna coach you and teach you that we're gonna need to be aggressive when making our offers here because right now we are still low on our available inventory and might run into a few multiple offer situations. 
But I'm also going to take the time to consult with you and see like how long you are going to be in this house because I don't want you to be overpaying for it and thinking that you're going to be able to get a huge amount over list price when you go to sell it in a few years. And the reason I bring this up is because there was a situation where I was a, an agent who just brought a client to a house back in 2018. Now this house had been sitting on the market for a long time. It was honestly priced right. They had done some a few price drops over the time it was listed. It wasn't a bad house at all. It had a nice backyard. Earlier this year, the sellers of that house that sat on the market in 2018 that never sold called me and they wanted to sell it and try again. Well. We listed their house, we immediately got seven offers, and to be honest, it wasn't even in as good of condition as it was back in the day. The reason that I bring this up is because right now, buyers are still trying to compete for homes, and they are giving as much as they can to do so and to get an offer accepted. When Arkansas gets into a more balanced market, our buyers get picky, and they're going to nitpick your house against other houses. They're gonna ask for more repairs. They're gonna ask for closing costs. So it's important to note that if you buy a house and most likely people are predicting our, our market is slowly going to recover and go back to being balanced, go back to being quote unquote normal. You're going to wanna keep up your house. Make sure that it's going to be in good condition and what buyers want when you sell it. So maybe make some updates and make sure you stay on top of maintenance and you're not letting anything get too old looking or appliances and, and machinery near the end of its life. Right now, we are seeing like a year on year appreciation of just over 11% which is super high for Arkansas. When we get into a more balanced market, what's typical is about three to like 4.25% appreciation in a year on your home value. So if you were to move here today, you might see a large jump, let's say in the next 12 months or so, in your home's value. But don't freak out if you see it start to calm down as things balance out. It's pretty normal. And the good thing to know is that if we were, as a country, going to hit some type of crash again, Arkansas really doesn't get hit as hard by the highs and the lows as some other larger markets. So you will you know, kind of have an upper hand there if things were to go south with the housing market. Those were the big things I wanted to talk about, termites, hail damage, and overall home appreciation rate and how you may encounter those when buying a house in Arkansas. Of course, if you are living in Arkansas currently or considering moving here, I would love to talk to you about the process and your home purchase. So you can find my contact link in the description as well as a link to some current available homes just so that you can get a good gist of the market. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below. I'm Nicole Mark, Arkansas real estate broker with videos to help you find your way home and I will see you in the next one.